I've been looking at your file. It makes for an interesting read. You shot your adoptive father. Oh, was an accident. Strange sort of accident. Would you say you're a violent person, Andy? You don't need to answer that. We've been told there's been some tension between you and Mr. White recently. Would you like to tell me about that? I don't know what you're on about. Is it true you were in a relationship with his wife? Ages ago, before they were married. Nothing more recent, then? Where are you getting this from? Why did you call her yesterday? You what? We checked your phone. You called her mobile. To tell her about Lawrence. I, I just got through to a voicemail, though. So you're still close to her? Are you and Benice in a relationship? We're just friends. That's it. And I'm guessing Mr. White didn't uh, approve of this friendship. Well, I could have given a damn what he thought of it. They were getting divorced anyway. But you are going out with his daughter. Yes, me and Chrissy love each other. Dads can be very protective. <sighs> We've been told there was an argument between you and Mr. White last week. A rather heated argument. No comment. Have you got any evidence linking my client to the attack? You were found in possession of a .410 bore shotgun taken from Home Farm. We've checked the serial number, and it's definitely the one missing from their cabinet. And it's the same type of gun that was used to shoot Mr. White. I never touched it. Why don't you check the fingerprints on it? Someone's done a very good job of cleaning it. Shame you weren't as thorough about your car. What did you do with the objects oh. you took from the house? I didn't take anything. Amongst other things, a vase went missing. Very expensive, with blue glass. Showing the suspect, exhibit MS7. This is a fragment of that glass, which was found in your car. Your car's been cleaned recently. Inside and out. But I guess you missed a bit. <laughs>